Hello and welcome. I hope you are looking forward to your massage. It's such a pleasure to have you here. Um, please come in. If you would, take a moment, go ahead and get into your robe, and uh, we will get you started momentarily. I want you to enjoy this experience as much as possible. So, whatever I can do to make you more comfortable, please let me know, and I will be happy to do so. Now, if you don't mind, please lay on the table in front of me, and we'll begin. Oh my goodness, I must tell you, uh, I have never encountered muscles like this before. Um, steel bands are more malleable than your shoulder blades. <laughs> Nevertheless, we'll keep working. Now, I hope you're comfortable. Tell me, uh, Mr. Eric, is it? Yes. What is it that you do for a living? Come now. You can be you can be truthful with me. You don't have to exaggerate. Really, you are a Nazi hunter. <laughs> that is very droll and very funny. Okay, okay, fine. So, tell me, have you hunted any Nazis recently? Really? So there was a encampment in Argentina, and you walked up to the front gates. I have to say, I think that would probably involve with you getting killed, from what you're saying, if they were armed gunmen. Hmm. Well, one moment. I'm going to add a little bit moisturizer stop working that in there now it smells nice doesn't it so you've walked up to this uh, Nazi stronghold is it and uh, what exactly happens then uh, if these are armed gunmen why do they not gun you down if you're standing unarmed uh, there Well, I'm a little confused because I'm not sure why their guns would lift up into the air. I see. There was a magnetic bubble that surrounded the guns and then they lifted up into the air, turned on the attacker, and started firing. That's uh, interesting. Very interesting. And then what? A tank. They had a tank. Nice. So, just out of curiosity, um, why were you not blasted to smithereens by the tank? I see. So, you caused the tank to flip up into the air and then crash back down on one of the jeeps that was coming out with a uh, minigun. Very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Yes, yes. Um, there must have been more men. Oh, well, of course, they had guns too, and their guns also mysteriously did not work, and then turned back on them and took them out one by one. Of, I, I, at this point, I'm entirely into the story, whether or not I believe it. Go ahead and continue as I work on your lower back. My goodness, your muscles are so tense. You're holding so much tension here. I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't know. 
the Nazis took everything from you, your family, and then yet you were able to escape with your soon-to-be wife. And you had a little girl. That's, that's horrible that the villagers just let them die. I'm so sorry. I think that I can understand why there's a little bit of tension here. I'm going to work your arms now. So tell me what happened to the villagers. I had a feeling you were going to say that. Mm hmm Yes. Quite true. They did deserve it. So, since that time, you've been working with a covert company so that you can take your vengeance on these Nazis. But the covert agency got tired of you doing things on your own, and they tried to kill you. So you decided to go in on your own. You're going to work on the other arm now. You decided to start a brotherhood. A brotherhood of mutants. Very interesting. Well, if I happen to find any mutants, I'll make sure and let you know. How many do you have so far? That many. Very impressive. And what, what exactly do you plan to do with that many mutants? Steal and set off a nuclear weapon? That is, um, that is pretty drastic. me. I, I don't possibly know what you would want me to do. There's nothing that I can do as a completely normal person. How did you know? How do you know who I really am? I am the mutant known as Mystique. But I've been keeping this form for nearly six months now. And I can't have someone coming in here and blowing my cover. Yes, I do think that mutants are treated terribly. Yes, I do want to do something about it, but is stealing a nuclear weapon really going to do anything? Really? So, let me finish up on your back. You're saying that mutants should rule over the humans, that we should be their masters, and they should be beneath us, that I wouldn't have to hide the way I look anymore that no one would ever try to kill me because of my blue skin. Very intriguing, Eric. Very intriguing. All right. Magneto. Very intriguing, Magneto. But I have to ask, why me? Why do you want me? You need something a little more subtle, don't you? You need someone who can just walk into that facility and take down the defenses before you go running roughshod over everything. I think I could intim just uh, imitate a general or two and go in and have them lower everything. 
I usually just tell them it's a drill. For some reason, they always believe that it's a drill. Why, thank you. I will accept my membership to the League of Mutants, the Brotherhood of Mutants. Let me finish up your massage. I want you to get your money's worth, after all. And then we can discuss our great future together. No matter what form you might take, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see a few more, here they are. They take on many different forms. So I hope you enjoy them, and thank you for watching Role Play.